Hey, and welcome to Witchcrafty. I've had this requested from a lot of my friends in the old school RuneScape community, and I thought I'd share a free pattern for anyone that may want to sew something while AFKing in game. Here's a list of everything you need. You can change the colours to make a black chin chomper or even a golden one, but I'll be making a separate pattern for those to take into account the small changes in the models in the game. The pattern is available for free from my DeviantArt. All of my patterns scale to an A4 piece of paper and use the key in the corner to assist you before cutting out each piece of fabric. The first thing you need to do is to take the red angled back piece and align it to the white pieces along the straight sides and sew them on either end of the red strip. After that, take each red body piece and sew up the dart on each piece. Align the shorter white piece of the white red white strip you joined earlier to one of the body sides so it's just above the back leg and join it along the whole top of the body. Join the other side of the body to the other side of the strip. Then, starting from the back, take the bottom white body piece and begin joining it to the bottom of the main body. When you've nearly closed off the stitch, leave enough space to flip and flip the main body upright and stuff it. Close off the open end of the body using an invisible stitch. For the tail, on the red tail piece, on the side with no tracing, take two of the white crescent shapes on an either side using a running or a back stitch to sew them on. Place the red and white tail pieces with the tracing facing up and join them together, leaving only the straight edge open. Once done, flip it the right way up and stuff it. Pin the tail to the body so that the red top aligns with the red on the tail and use an invisible stitch to join it, switching thread when you reach the white side. To create the curved effect, 
Sew the round tip down using a small invisible stitch line. For the head, take one of the white face sides and on the side with no tracing, sew the small black eye on. Repeat this for the second head side. Then align the tiny pink nose on the tip of the red head gusset on the side with no tracing and join it on. Join the head sides onto the head gusset on either side. Then sew the head sides together using a white thread in the centre leaving the back of the head open. Take two of the four triangle ear pieces and sew them together with a tracing facing up along one of the longer sides. Take the last red rectangle piece and join the ear piece to one of the sloped sides so the longer side of the rectangle aligns with the start of the seam of the triangle pieces. Repeat for the remaining triangle pieces. Then sew two of the pink triangles with the tracing side up to create a small pyramid shape in each ear. Join the red rectangle and ears along the short dip in the head sides and the head gusset leaving the remaining gap open still. Then flip it upright and stuff it. Pin the head in place with the red aligns with the red on the body and use an invisible stitch to join the plush on to complete it. And that is how you make a red chin chomper plushie. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and comment down below on ideas that you'd like to see me make next. And while you're at it, when you go check out my other videos, I upload new videos every single week. Thanks for watching, bye!